Yeah, I was concerned about our defense, just not because our defense is bad. We've done a great job defensively, but their offense is really good if you let them get off the ball screens to the middle, and that's not how we defend ball screens generally, you know, sometimes, but we really wanted to do a good job on ball screens, and while our bigs had to help getting our hands up and not letting them get into the gut, because they're really good if they can get in the paint. Fesky and Satangan are difficult to defend in the paint, and they're five four and five six or five seven, whatever they're, they're not big, but they're really effective there. So I think that started it off well, um, and then we got out to shooters. We rebounded the ball well. We got a lot of defensive rebounds and limited theirs, even though they, there were shots missed. We got a lot of them ourselves. It didn't foul, so those things lead to low point totals. Katie Campbell finishing with a double double, getting that uh, last rebound in the final second set. What do you think of her playing time? It was against my better judgment to put her back in at that time. <laughs> But uh, I thought she did a good job. She was confident. I know that she's been a little bit up and down from time to time, but she was very confident. I, she was scrappy. Um, you know, with a couple of our kids out right now, she, they had to play, or were potentially going to have to play a lot more minutes. It turns out they didn't. Um, but she kept Satangan in front. And I'll tell you, that's just not an easy job. I don't know if it looks easy from the side, but Katie had the lion's share of defending her for the minutes that she was in the game. And just slowing her down in transition, she's so athletic. I thought defensively she did a nice job. She gets a little bit riled up when things, when she gets in a scuffle here and there. So we had to tame her down a little bit. But she played really well and was ready and gave us some, a leadership boost. And we had um, young post players in or different, you know, people playing out of position a little bit. She was in with Lou and Lynn at the same time. And those guys just don't log as many minutes as our returners do. So, uh, or most of our returners, I guess Lou is a returner. So she, she was great. How big of a step was this for your club? I know you don't want to have too many players out, but getting some people off the bench to get some key minutes and contribute the way they did tonight. I think it's great that we can still win games and not come down to the wire with those guys. I think it allows us to build some confidence as coaches in our teammates, as teammates in our teammates, and as individuals in themselves. Um, you, you, we don't always get to do that. We have a lot of good players, and you can't play them all all the time. And so I would rather be healthy um, but there is always a positive way to look at things like this, and they did a good job today. Uh, Anna played, I think, probably her career high minutes, and she did um, a good job. She got eight or nine rebounds, and um, Lynn probably played more minutes than she normally does. Jillian played in at different times of the game than she normally does. Um, Lou played more minutes, so it was great to get those guys those minutes. Um, our our starting five, actually, including Mel, didn't play. Melody probably did, but no more minutes than they normally do because we were able to rely on those guys, and they did what they were supposed to do when they were in there. Lee out and Jen scores in the first half. You guys still scored more than twice as many points in the paint. Do you, what do you think that says about your depth? Season front court and guards yeah. entering. Yeah, a good depth. I, I think when Towney, Towney can get to the rim, Jesse can get to the rim, those guys. But Mel's as strong. She might be stronger than Jen and Lee. You know, if not, she's equally strong as them. Um, she finished well today. Uh, you know, she didn't miss any of those bunnies, and uh, we created good angles. We have people who can get them the ball when they need to have it there. Anna made a couple, so um, you know I think they're all capable. It's not just about the post players, right? It's about the guards as well. And um, when we get in there, offensive rebound and those kind of things, you get high high uh, percentage shots. Two players who were injured. Uh, can you say anything about their ankles? So it's just their ankles. They're hopefully getting back as soon as possible. But um, Kaylee did hers a little bit before. Leanne's is not quite as bad. So I don't know. We still don't know when. I'm waiting for Kendall to treat them every day and tell me what they can do that day, but hopefully soon. Yeah. Down a couple players, but uh, you guys were pretty scrappy, especially on defense. What was the attitude coming out? Um, we knew we just had to kind of fill in for um, those players we missed. Uh, Lynn stepped up, played more minutes. Um, we put Jill towards the post. Um, we just kind of filled in where we had to, and everyone did their part today. And you had 10 boards, which uh, is a double double, and I don't think you've ever had that before in college. So that's so that's good. Yeah, um, I had no idea what my rebounds were until I had eight, and then they said I needed two. So it was fun just getting those last two. Um, that last one was pretty close, but um, yeah, it was fun. Now I'm part of the little double double club on the team, which is nice. <laughs> were you uh, trying to uh, get coaches to let you back in to get that team to rebound? Um, I heard her say to the coaches that they should have told her I was close. She had no idea I had nine rebounds. So. Um, I wanted to. I was like, ah, like I looked at her like right when I came out. Um, so it was nice she put me back in. I would have been sad if I had nine just right there, but it was fun. Coach, talk a little bit about the game confidence and the, and the others that had a chance to play some major minutes mm -hmm. in this game. How much does that build in confidence amongst you as a team? Yeah, um, <clears throat> it, it, it builds confidence for everyone. Not only the people coming in more, but 
also um, for the team, knowing we can trust them. Um, it, it's hard if you sit a while and come in or only play 8, 9, 10, 12 minutes a game to uh, kind of get a rhythm going. So when you come in and contribute either offensively, defensively, anything, it puts confidence on us on the court too in that person and themselves. Talk about defending. Uh, you had a key role tonight. You know, what, what was your, your mindset going in knowing that, hey, if she gets hot, she can really light it up? Yeah, she's a really good player. Um, this year we talked about how she developed the three. She didn't shoot as many last year, and she's gotten better at that. And so um, I was trying not to foul. I got, I got some calls there. But um, just the mindset was keeping her in front of me. She's very, very fast, um, trying to force her left, even though she can go both ways. So uh, just kind of staying back and um, staying in front of her and not letting her get really anything open. And everyone was up the line today and helping me, so they helped a lot with that. Yeah, can you expand on that a little bit more? The team defense, I they got to the third point mark until there was, you know, two or three minutes left in the game. Yeah, um, we were very um, keyed in on that. Uh, a lot of them were drivers. Their offense is dribble drive offense too. So if we're not up the line, they're getting wide open layups, and um, and if we're too far in, they're getting threes for good three point shooters. So we made it really hard. Um, we got good switches. We got good calls on the screens and. Um, Everyone was just kind of in their position, which made the driving lanes and kicks and um, threes really tough to see or to shoot. How many performances out there tonight? What did you think of the team's play? Yeah, I mean, we came out right from the punch. Um, that was our first key coming in the game was uh, throw the first punch, and I thought we executed that. Um, you know, our starts haven't been the best lately, and so that's something we've been talking about a lot. Um, and so to be able to go out there and execute it and, you know, uh, had him on the heels almost the entire game, uh, it was pretty fun. The fact that you were down two key players going in mm -hmm. probably made it even more. It looked like you took it upon yourself because you were feeling it early on, weren't you? Yeah, we we, we talked about in the locker room before that we needed to make a statement. Um, you know, other teams are probably seeing uh, you know the down two people and people out. You know, not in our, our usual rotation that they were probably you know salivating at the mouth. You know, thinking that this is their shot uh, to get us, and so that we had to come out and make a statement and just say. You know, no matter the adversity, we're going to come out and uh, it's going to be tough to beat us. And I thought we came out and did that. Yeah, defensively, did it com compare a little bit to the St. Mary's game mm -hmm. with the way you guys played as a team tonight? Yeah, I mean, everyone was doing their job on defense, personnel-wise, flying around, getting hands on balls, um, just being on the line, closing the gaps. Uh, we took the scout and we executed it. Um, and it definitely showed on the defensive side. Hey. What's it feel like your first start at uh, Gonzaga and, and come away with a big win? Uh, it was so much fun. I was just excited for the opportunity to come out and start and just experience that because I've never been able to do that before. And I just wanted to play my best and do what I could for my team. What did it feel like out there starting and just the whole experience? Just very energetic. Like I feel like I bring a lot of energy, but it's a totally different energy when you start and just yeah, coming out and having that energy flowing through a whole team. It was really fun. You guys came out defensively, just locked and loaded, hung on the 36 points. I mean, what was, was that kind of the key, being down two players, and really to shut them down? Yeah, we were came out, we were a little frustrated. We were down a couple players. We wanted to come out and just beat them up and do what we could inside and outside. And that frustration, I think, kind of just fueled us and we really took off and beat them up on defense and destroyed them on offense. Coach was talking about that you finished better tonight than you have. What was the key to that? Maybe getting more minutes out there and getting more repetition? Yeah, that's always helpful, like being able to get into the flow of the game. And then I think just like focus, like I knew I needed to step up for this game and just be really focused, not do more than I needed to, but just be focused on the shots that I did take. So I really tried to focus on that. I'm not sure if Kate Campbell has gotten a double-double in her career. <laughs> what do you think of her play tonight? Oh, she did amazing. I love Katie. And the fact that she got that double-double just shows the hustle that she has. She's out there to do anything for her team. As a guard, getting 10-plus rebounds, that's amazing. Like, she, guards just don't normally do that. And she was jumping in there and getting everything she could. So it was just a great feeling, and I'm really proud of her. You 